Hello everyone, and welcome to Space Engineers. I'm your host Val Death, and we're going to start playing some of the basic tutorials, get you guys some uh, ideas on how to start playing this Minecraft inspired game. Um, yeah, it's kind of like Star Made, you know, um, there's a lot of Minecraft like elements to it. You, know, you harvest, survive, build, uh, ships and stations and kinds of cool stuff. And we're going to be playing some of this. I am a big fan of sci-fi, space things, and generally my channel is very Minecraft-like building uh, stuff. So, you know, I think this fits right in, right in there with it. But today we're going to start off with the basic tutorials. Start going through them right now. Alright, here we are. Very first tutorial. Uh, you can see in the very beginning, middle of the screen it's got some hints. Uh, to teach you about uh, the buttons and options to the game, just like medieval engineer, engineers. Uh, you can hide these, of course, but generally it's G to select objects and tools, uh, uh, blocks. Uh, you have hotbars, just like in Minecraft, you can hide stuff. But we're going to start here in this medical room and respawn. I've been accepted to faction. Alright, so as you can see, we're in here. This beautiful textured area. Interior window. Use V to uh, toggle your views. Jump is normal. Uh, right there, V to toggle between. Space to jump. And then your WASD is normal. L is a personal lamp. You see that right here. Personal light. Uh, you hold Alt to rotate. So you can see the lights coming from inside of my helmet there. Uh, v will snap the view back, of course. And here is my personal uh, medical bay, med room that we just respawned in. Press C in the bottom, it says uh, T to recharge and heal, K to open terminal. So here's the terminal for this uh, med bay. And all of them will have these kind of tabs at the top here. Inventory, control panel, production, various things. See it's louder when you get closer to it. On the bottom left here, you can see stuff about my uh, health, standing or jet falling, helmet, health, jetpack on and off. And on the right, it talks about current gravity and how much oxygen uh, we have. Leap across there. C to crouch. There we go. Cool. Shift to sprint. Think your standard stuff. That opened the door by sprinting. Okay. Life support. As an engineer, you need to make sure you have energy and oxygen to survive. Energy powers your suit, jetpack, and tools. Oxygen depletes constantly unless you are in an oxygenated environment with your helmet off. So you can see oxygen right there. It says in the bottom left corner 92.8%, 92.7. It's going down. You can refill your suit oxygen from oxygen bottles. Pick up the bottles by looking at them and pressing T. That's the standard use kind of uh, object button. Your suit oxygen will be automatically replenished from carried bottles when it reaches a low threshold. Hit stuff, T. Picked it up. All right, G brings up our interface. There are all the various things we can do. Blocks we can build with. All right, so our oxygen is okay. Is that the end of this first tutorial? So when it reaches low, it'll automatically be replenished. I just have to pick them both up. There we go. Now the door opens. That's cool. All right, third little read. You can refill bottles from oxygen generators that are stocked with ice or from oxygen tanks. Look at the conveyor hatch on the oxygen generator. That's this thing here. to be the uh, conveyor hatch. And press I to access this inventory. Drag the empty bottle you picked up in the last room to the generator's inventory on the right side of the screen. It will automatically be filled. Okay, so as you can see in the bottom there, it just highlighted. Press K to open the inventory. All right, these are my this is my inventory over here. So I've got 
one empty bottle and a full bottle. Oxygen generator, place bottle here. There we go, boom, filled. And then you just took a little bit of ice. And then I can grab it back. There we go. And again, this is the terminal for this oxygen generator. It's got various tabs, control panel, things to uh, turn on and off. You can actually turn them off itself, the whole block, right? It stops it from using power. Information about it, etc., etc. Okay. When ready to proceed, look at the button panel to the right and press button 4 to open the door. Press T to activate a button. Hangar doors 2. Ah, control panel of the button. Access denied. Button 4. Press T. And there we go. Opens up the door. Yes, very cool. Alright, so here we can see conveyors taking items. You can recharge both energy and oxygen from medical rooms, but oxygen is only available if the medical room is conveyor connected to an oxygen generator. So that's what these pipe-like blocks are, conveyors. And you can see here, this is a cryo chamber. Uh, the oxygen chamber is up there. Look at the metal medical panel with the red cross on it and hold T to recharge. Look at the user interface window at the bottom left to see your energy and oxygen increase. So yeah, we can see energy and oxygen in the bottom left, 89 and 79. So over here, recharge. Boom, full oxygen, full energy. And now they start to slowly deplete. My health as well is at 100. Press T to change your appearance. Ah, oh, cool. to have changed my... Eh, that's not right about that right now. Getting caught up. Okay, the cryo chamber to the right can be used to recharge energy and also oxygen if connected to an oxygen generator. Press T to enter next to the cryo chamber. Ah, cool. So it's like you're going into cryo sleep. That's pretty cool. Press Y to turn all reactors off. T to leave the chamber. K to open ship control panel. Ah, cool. So if you're... That's kind of neat. Press middle mouse button to switch between single and all weapon mode. Hmm. Alright, leave the chamber. Cool. Alright, and let's... Uh... So you got a button control panel. This little middle piece configures this whole panel. And you can set these buttons to do different things. Oh, very cool. Reminds me, reminiscent of redstone in Minecraft. Seats, flight seats, and control stations allow you to recharge energy as well. Press T to enter a seat. You can also toggle view mode when you're sitting by pressing V. So we're sitting, single first person view, third person view. Got our little introductory station here. Alright, and T to leave the cockpit chair. Alt, flip the camera around. Cockpit energies recharge both energy and oxygen. Press T to enter. Cockpits need to be connected to conveyor connected to an oxygen generator to supply energy. So you can see here's the conveyor. And that must be the oxygen generator thing. Alright, now we're in a cockpit. You can hold Alt as well to, to free look around. And all right, so let's see. Uh, T leak cockpit. And now we're recharging our health and stuff every time. All right. Press K whilst looking at the cargo crate's control panel. Drag the grinder tool to your inventory on the left side of your screen. All right, K. Okay. To open it, got a grinder in the container. Let's go ahead and take that. 
Now I can equip the grinder by pressing G to access the toolbar config menu. Select the character tools and control click it or drag it to your uh, hotbar. You need to have a grinder tool in your inventory or the icon will appear dark and we'll be able to select it. All right. So G and then character tools tab over here and now there you go I actually have it so I can pick it up drop it or the right click is what it was talking about. All right now I'm holding the grinder so you can see that. Alright, grind through the armor wall ahead by selecting the grinder and holding left mouse button. We use this to destroy it. You can see on the right there, the percentage now down to 55 as I destroyed this block. Uh, you can see that it takes two sets of steel plates to make it and we're destroying it top down. When you build up blocks, you first will place the block as an empty shell, and then you have to actually use a welder tool to add the components to that block from the bottom up, and you actually build them. We'll look at that here in a moment, I'm sure. Access the cargo crate below to pick up your welding tool. Exactly. Okay, so let's open Okay. Now since I'm, I have a welder or, or grinder in my hand and I mouse over an object, on the right here it shows me all the components needed to create that block. Alright, we're in K and let's take our welder and we'll take these uh, components as well that were in the inventory. Alright, and now we can take the uh, welder. Let's actually put that on one and the grinder on two construct with one and destroy with two. Add the weld tool to your toolbar. Press G and I just did that. Repair the button panel below by selecting the weld tool and holding left mouse button. Once repaired, press T to use the buttons. Now to do this, on the right you can see it needs uh, three construction components, 20 computers and 20 construction components. And 10 more I mean. It already has 10 plates and 7 construction components. 45% complete. When I repair it, I'm going to be using those components from my inventory, and it's going to repair it. Once it gets up to that red line, uh, then you can actually use it. Right there, now I could use it. I could actually continue repairing this and using more components, but it's not necessary. There we go. Cool. Ah, uh, space. Pretty. So this is all just getting used to how we do things. Are we going to talk about jetpacks and all that? Probably in another um, episode. Another uh, tutorial. Use the hand drill to tunnel through this rock and reach the other side. Okay. Oh, that's 11. 10 first. Access the crate to add a hand drill to your inventory. Uh... Press left mouse button to mine, pick up ore by pressing T, hold right mouse button to dig a large tunnel. Alright, well let's first open this up, get our hand drill in our inventory, and I'll add that. Look it says, so we drill, nice, hold right mouse button to drill a big tunnel. And okay, well, let's go use it. So I got a whole T. So let's take a look here. Do a little bit of mining, or I can do the big mining. Oh yeah, right mouse button, big tunnel. But that seems to destroy stuff. Yeah, see how the little pieces broke away when I hold when I hold left click, I'll get pieces and I can pick them up. So, um, but those things don't pop off if you use the right mouse button to just bore a big old hole through. Like this. Oh, 
but if I left click, it does little less damage, and we actually get things out. So yeah, it's like a mine and or tunnel, exactly like it says. Uh, let's switch back to single player. Press T on the small blue control panel to open the doors. Press zero to empty my hands. Oh yeah. Tutorial success. All right. Objective complete. Look at that. Cool. Well, thank you guys for watching this first episode, and we'll be back with the next tutorials.